Mihaila to Big Tech. Today I will be doing a review on the iPod Touch 4th generation 8 gigabyte. So you can see it in its box here. Um, if you're wondering what this is beside it, and it's very distorted picture right now because I'm recording with a webcam. No other option right now, but uh, I would record with this, but uh, doing a review of it, you can't really record with it at the same time. But, and besides, I don't have the iTunes cable for it. Alright, so you can see beside it in this very distorted zoom in thing, um, we have the iPod Nano. And um, that's just for comparison, actually. So, yeah, there's an, actually, I don't even own an iPod Nano, I just got this box for the donation to the show. So, 8 gigs, uh, it says on here iPod Nano 8GB Blue and the serial number is D's and MRI. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. And, um, alright, so you can see the headphones here that I have are uh, four pins and four little markings here on them. And uh, they have this. This little thing. This is a remote on the back and um, er, a remote on the front with all the little buttons on it and a microphone on the back. Um, so these are the remote and mic headphones. They do not come with this iPod. Only the, um, only just the regular ones come with it. Um, the the three pin ones and they don't come with the remote and mic. The, these ones come with the 32 gigabyte iPod Touch, 64 gigabyte, and the iPhone 4, any iPhone 4 or iPhone 4s or I think any iPhone that comes with these remote ones. I really like these ones, but uh, it just comes with the standard ones. This a 8 gig model. So, um, yeah, I've done an unboxing of it before. Wow. So, it, uh, it's very nice looking. Um, no, nothing, nothing that originally comes with it is left in the box anymore. It's because on the side it says iPod Touch, back 8 gigabytes, and it says it includes iPod Touch earphones, USB 2.0 cable, supports Wi Fi 802.11 BGN and Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR. Okay. Not too bad. On the bottom it says iPod Touch 8 gigabytes designed in, designed by Apple in California. Serial number C it's a read at oh, serial numbers both start with oh no. D this one is D C Y. This one is D three X. Whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to bring over the webcam, well, the laptop, for a closer look. I don't think it's going to be another one than this VGA cable. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry for all the noise you guys are probably hearing. Um, Alright, VGA cable is kind of falling out. Alright, so, here we've got the iPod Touch. No, not a single fingerprint on it right now. So this is the retina display, um, front facing camera there, so it's just hard to map out the webcam. Home button, on the back we've got the HD camera, the uh, iPod, it's a bit scratched, it's used, and uh, 8 gigabyte camera. I don't think this webcam focuses, but it's very clear. Bottom, we've got your 30 pin dock connector, one speaker, and one headphone jack. This side, we've got uh, the two volume buttons. And um, on the top, we've got just the um, sleep wake, which is uh, the same, it's, which is in the same placement actually as the iPhone, as any iPhone, I think. Um, with the other models of iPods, it was on this side. I don't know why they switched it actually. I liked it on this side better. Whatever. Um, and yeah, and the front is untouched with fingerprints until now. I actually have done a, an unboxing of this, so you can see it comes with a... Come on. Doesn't even have white balance adjustment. Oh, there we go. It has to readjust the... I'm gonna unlock it. Right. Oh, hold up, my computer screen turned off. So you can see, wow, it's very clear. 
I'm lagging a lot. Sorry, guys. It's 1.24 p.m.? Oh, my. That is the wrong time. Because this is only 12.12. Huh, make a wish. Um. Alright, I made my wish. So, uh, you can see all the apps and stuff here. I'm um, just going to go to settings. And show you guys, uh, that. General, about. Okay, so. I gotta hold the iPod extremely still so I can block out the serial number. So you can see there all the information about it. Move it fast so you don't have to worry about that. So you can see the capacity is 6.5 gigs, available 1.2, no videos, no photos, 700 songs. So yeah, Wi Fi is not connected on it. Uh, it's just connected to my network, which is Mitchell Big Tech 26. And I'm gonna enter that. Okay. And no, it is this not the same password for my YouTube account. Don't ask me stupid questions like that. I've been asked stuff like that before. So hard to do that. This is the first time this iPod has ever been connected to Wi-Fi or internet of any source. Let me just see what version of software it has, because it has never been updated. 4.2.1. Interesting. So it has... There we go. Don't have to block out the serial number. 4.2.1. Man, that is old. Same software from December 2010, when, which is when it was bought. Um, so yeah. If I just go... So basically... So... Yeah, I think that's it. It's a... Uh, Oh yeah, my ratings on it. What would I rate this iPod? Put it up a bit closer. Alright, so what would I rate this iPod? I would rate it probably, so here's the camera by the way. It's a very clear video. It uh, doesn't have the autofocus like uh, the manual focus like the iPod, like the iPhone does. But if you do tap somewhere, it adjusts the white. It adjusts the white balance to that area. Um, the reason why I'm not going to take a video is because I don't have the cable, so it would take me like a week because I have to wait until I get back to my mom's. So you can see there everything that's in that shot. I can switch cameras. I can just take this picture. Wait. Go to camera roll, and it's actually a pretty good picture. Come on, just there we go. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good picture, I think. Back done, so you can see there. What I can show right now is probably. Windows, things in Windows, and my computer's webcam, but if I switch it, you can see just what's behind me. So yeah, um, rating out of 10, well now it's all fingerprinted, gets fingerprints extremely easily, so you can actually, you can't really see it that well, but, oh, there you go, okay, you can see there's a lot of fingerprints on it. And it looks a lot bigger than it actually is in real life in that shot. But, um, yeah, rating out of 10. Probably. Oh my goodness. I don't really know. I'd give it. Actually, I do know. I'd probably give it a 9 or an 8 out of 10. The only things I don't really like about it is uh, I think they should have put the headphone jack on the top too, also. So, just because, like, the, I'm used to that because of the iPhone and stuff. But, uh, yeah.
I think they should put the headphone jack on the top and make the camera on here, the back camera, the same as the iPhone 4. Same camera as the iPhone 4. This is the black version. It now comes in white too. And uh, probably won't be updating this to, the screen turned off, to iOS 5. I probably won't. I don't know. I just really don't know. Cause, uh, I don't use this iPod. I like never use it. It just sits in my car. It's actually really cold right now. Because it's been in my car all night. Because it's just, it's just a car iPhone or iPod. I just play a few games on it in the car. I listen to music on it in the car. I usually listen to music on it. But that's pretty much all I do. I just leave it in my car all the time. Because I have my iPhone or I have my Android. And I just listen to music on those. So, like, I just, that's why I don't, that's why there's no pictures on it. There's nothing on it. I'm just going to put that back up there. There. Okay, so that's why there's nothing on it. It's a car iPhone. Subscribe to Quinn the Gamer, Quinn M1234, and there's my box to channels. Add me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Those links are in the About Me section of my channel. Thanks for watching. This video will probably be about 200 megabytes. So that means a long upload time. Thanks for watching.